I feel so much better. I mean, I'm on a lot of uh, drugs, but I feel so much better. And man, I had some crazy nerves. I got upset for a minute. I didn't know what was going on because Brian told her he was going to fire her. I was like, what? What's going on? But I was like so out of it. She tried to talk me out of using my port. She played psychological games with me, trying to tell me that if I didn't use a needle in my arm, I was risking myself and putting myself at high risk for an infection, which is not true. <coughs> they use this port for stage four, chemo, neutropenic, all kinds of people. I, oh my God, what is that behind me? That's a bird. Um, they use that port for all kinds of stuff. So she was playing games. And then she was like, well, I can't do it. I'm not trained on it. Like, oh, that's why you don't want to do it. So then she, uh, I don't know what she did, but she took my, the doctor prescribed me some heavy pain pills. And then she decided that I didn't need them and gave me something else, a little weaker. And Brian was like, what are you doing? You can't just make choices. And then she discharged me without seeing the doctor and stuff. So... I don't know, he thinks that she was playing some games, but so now I realize, but yeah, he told her, he said, let me tell you what, lady, if you, you worked for me, I'd fire you. I was like, oh. I still had the needle in my port, and I was like, oh my God, I freaked out, because like, she's the one that's going to be pulling it out. But why is she the one pulling it out? She told me specifically that she wasn't um, trained on that equipment, and that she couldn't do it. So then she removed it. Holy cow. Anyway... So Brian fired my nurse today. <laughs> I love him so much. He'd stand up at the gates of hell and tell the devil kick rocks if it meant being good to me. He's a lovely man. I got really mad at him, but I was really high and I didn't understand what was going on um, from the anesthetics. But he was trying to save me. Oh man, so grateful for Brian. I got real mad at him for a minute. I didn't know what was going on. I was like, what? <laughs> so yeah, thank goodness for Brian. And I think I called my friend Debbie a couple times. She called me. I didn't remember. And then I called her. And I think I called her again. I don't know. Hey, Debbie. I'm all about calling you today. <laughs> Gotta call your best friend whenever you're down and out. And in a hallucination stage. So anyway, I miss you and Chris so much. Me and Brian need to sit and hang out with you guys. For sure. Um, we had an awesome dinner. Um, and look at this lovely courtyard at the the hotel. It's just a little um, sitting area. It's a place to chill. It's so lovely. So yeah, Brian, um, God, he made us a great meal. But macaroni, cheese, and pulled pork, and pickled onions, and broccoli, and a little pasta. He made a really, it was like a fancy dinner. And then there's like tables and chairs in the um, hotel basement and a big tv and couches and recliners and so i think he's gonna put us on a cool show so it's easier to sit in a recliner than to sit in the bed okay that's it update update i have no idea how many i made i should check